In this video we're going to look at options for gathering information from components in a peak model. The example here is an iron2p doublet and one part of the doublet, the iron2p three halves, is fitted using a set of component peaks and these component peaks represent three different oxidation states, there's the metallic form and then there are two oxidation states of 2 plus and 3 plus and the model for these different oxidation states is formed by constructing a set of peaks all in a given proportion with a given offset so the envelope for a given set of components is representative of these oxidation states and the sum of the components that are representative of a given oxidation state is a measure of the amount of substance for that oxidation state. So what we'd like to do is prepare some annotation tables that we can display over these data and also generate a quantification report that would be equivalent to these annotation tables. And the options that we're going to use are on the components property page of the annotation dialog window and also we're going to use the quantification parameters dialog window looking at the report spec property page and some new options in the custom report that help to define tables that are equivalent to the tables that are generated by the annotation tables on the components property page. There are two types of tables that can be generated by the annotation dialog windows components property page. The apply button will create a table that is based on individual components. The add component index table will display a table that is based on information gathered using the component index to accumulate information. In this case we would like to see the area of all components that have the same component index because each component index corresponds to a different oxidation state. So let's first of all create a table based on the individual components. If I exclude the line shapes, the forward half maxima and the area and then press apply we end up with a table that corresponds to the, each of the individual components. Let's just adjust this. So now I move the table so we can see it clearly and you can see now the different color codings that have been assigned to the different components and each component is detailed in this particular table. Now the components property page has a different component index of components for the different oxidation states. So when I apply the button that is based on the component index, rather than having all of these many components displayed, the table will now contain three entries, one for each of these component indices, and signal that has the same component index will be summed and presented within this table. So when I say add component index table, we end up with a table that contains three entries and each entry corresponds to the different oxidation states for these three forms of iron. If we wish to export data that's equivalent to these tables then we need to use the report spec property page and one of the options is the custom report and this would allow the export of these percent areas either from the table of individual components or as a sum. Now the individual components is quite straightforward. Since each component has a different name, then pressing the component button will populate a table of names and formulae that correspond to the export of this type of information. The percent area that is calculated and presented here would also be presented as a text report when we press the area report. So we can see here that these values when we scroll across we will see that the percent area is being reported for each individual component. So this is equivalent to the one of these annotation tables. The other annotation table is constructed but it's constructed in a slightly different way. This is based on the component indices. However in the custom report the formula will be constructed based on the information that is specified in the tag field on the components. This is the tag field and currently each one of these tags are all set to FE2P. But what we need to do in order to create a report based on the sum tag components is to change these names so that each oxidation state has a different name. 
Now we can still use the fact that the component index is different between these oxidation states by virtue of the fact that there's an option to say set equals and then I specify a string which is Fe2 plus and when I press return all of the tag fields are updated with a string Fe2 plus and they correspond to the component index of 1. I can do the same operation applying it to these component indices with a value of 2 so I'm going to say these are the 3 plus entries I set equals and that will update each one of these components on the basis that they have the same component index so the tag field will all adjust and you can see now we have FE3 plus for each one of the 3 plus components so now that we have all of these components set up we can go back to the report spec page and rather than using the component option we can now construct formulae based on the tag fields for each of the components so I've got the VAMAS block selected before I press this button and rather than simply listing each of the components the three different names that are assigned to the tag fields have been extracted and for each component that has this tag field it's been entered into a summation so it is important that each one of these has a different name because the custom report will sum any components with the same name anyway so it's rather important that each component has a distinct name to apply this option and once I've got this set up so these summations are all set up for each of these different oxidation states I'd say area report and this time I end up with the three values that correspond to the component index table on the annotation dialog window so 21 percent 41 and 37 these correspond to 21 41 and 37 when these components are displayed the colors used to display these components derive from the order of the components on the quantification parameters dialog window components property page so column A has the color index 0 B is index 1 C is 2 and so on hence we get an array of different colors here however the colors that correspond to the components can be colored according to the component index so if you right click over where it says component index then the individual components are color coded according to the index so this is 0 hence we get this 0 color here 1 corresponds to all of the 2 plus state and 2 corresponds to all the 3 plus state so we can now see the component index that colors these three different oxidation states there's another option and that is to right click over the name field and when I do this the color coding is used and the colors will be filled so we can now see the data envelope for each one of these sets of components that correspond to the different oxidation states.